until I get to the 75 to the 7523. So I'm gonna put my cursor on these two. I'm gonna put my cursor on the fill handle and drag it down. And so if I let go, I'm at 65. I'm gonna keep on going till I get to 68. And so I'm gonna to go to, there's 69, 71. We've got a lot of buckets here, a lot of buckets. So we'll keep going down to 75. So 75 is the end point, is that right? It goes from 75 to 75, 23. So if I copy one more down, 75 to 75, 23. So there's our buckets. So now what I'd like to do is make a similar kind of uh, uh, tab that's gonna be on the X axis that looks like this, having the range. So we can do that with a, with a little formula. I could type in here, uh, if I don't want a formula, I could put, put this apostrophe and then I could say this is going to go from 60.28 and then space or and then dash maybe 60.51. However, I, that's kind of tedious to copy that, to type that all the way down. So what I, what I could do is do a formula which has text in it by saying equals and I'm going to point to this cell and then say we want to say and because I want to connect it to another cell not add it or divide it or create a function to it but connect it and then I'm going to put a per, uh, quotations for the text that's going to go in the middle which is just going to be a dash and the quotation and then we're going to say and and then this one so what this is saying is equals pick up what's in cell C17 and and just put what's in there in it and then and connect it to because I have a text field we put the quotations around it a dash between the two and connect it to what is in cell D17 which is that 6059 and enter so there we have it I'm gonna make this a little bit larger so there we have it now we might end up with a problem as I copy this down but that's my general formula I can take this and copy it down and so there we have that, boom. Notice it did something funny down here. So now we've got this issue that it did something uh, funny. So how can we fix that? We could, we could say that we wanted to round it uh, to get rid of these decimal places. So for example, if I go into this uh, data right here, if, if, I was to add, if I was to add decimals, it's coming up to something that's actually not exactly rounded to two decimals. So I would like to tell Excel, hey, round it to just two spaces. So the way to do that, I'm gonna double click on this cell. I'm gonna go to the front of it and put in front of it a round function. So I'm gonna say round and then brackets. So now I'm putting that in front and now I've got my argument. This, there's the argument, which is correct. And then comma, I want you to round it and then to round it to two decimal places we use a 10. So the 10 represents rounding it to two decimals. So I'm going to then close that up and by the way when you use this function it gets a little bit tricky to use the 10 you know how many decimals you're rounding to but once you get used to it then you know you could it's not too bad to round that out. So then I'm going to do the same thing for the first one here. I'm going to put round uh, uh, round brackets and then comma and a 10 brackets and enter so now we've rounded those two datas and if I if I copy that cell all the way down it looks like a little bit more complex of a formula but then it takes care of that rounding problem all right something happened here I'm going to copy this one down okay i think that's good okay and then i'm also going to do the rounding thing on this one i should do it from the top down but i'm going to say equals uh equals round whoop hold on a second uh round brackets uh scroll to the left and then comma 10 brackets and then this one double click round brackets going to the left comma 10. all right so there we have it so now 
I'm going to make column E a little bit wider so we can see all the numbers in there. Now that I have my, my brackets, I want to then select this, the data from this data set that is in between each of these buckets. And it's used, so we have the beginning and end. So I'd like to have a formula that's going to say something like if uh, the, the number is above this number, but below this number, then you want it to be in this bucket. Uh, and so also just realize that you could see this number is the same. So we want it to be uh, including if it's 60, 51, we want it in the top bucket and the bottom bucket. If it's 60, 51, we don't want it here. We want it upper in the top bucket. All right. So let's do our formula in uh, E17. It's going to say equals count if, and I'm going to say ifs with an S double click the formula here's our criteria bar so if we could highlight that we could see the criteria criteria range i'm going to select the entire range up top with the drop down there's our range comma next argument is uh, the actual criteria so we're going to say that this needs to be i'm going to use a greater than so i have to put the quotations quotation greater than quotation and then and I've got to use an and connecting it to the 60 so it's got to be greater than the 60 that's our first argument and then comma the second criteria that we needs to have is the same range criteria range 2 same range selecting the entire range and then the criteria for that range comma 